Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you are safe at home, enjoying at home. Take care of yourself. So let's start. Today we are going to start of a new topic that is solar system. Look at the screen. What image you see on the phone? On the screen. What image you are getting to see? Think about that. What is that? That is solar system. Yes. Look here. What is this? Yes, children. What is this? This is a sun. Correct. And what are these? These are remaining. These are all the planets. What is children? स्टार्ट हो जाए ना मैं खुद ही पोस्ट कर दूंगी आप मुंह कर लेना अपने आप से समझ जाना हाँ, स्टार्ट हो जाए हाँ मैं पोस्ट कर दूंगी कर दिया मैंने पोस्ट चालू होते ही Sun rays are directly 
fall on the moon and that's why it's bright it started to shine it shines and we can see that the moon is shining in the sky so that's why we cannot say that we we think that the moon is going during the daytime and the night time we can know it is not it is not a correct fact moon is as it is at this place <clears throat> only the daytime it is not visible to us night time it is visible to us it doesn't have its own light it reflects the slash rays of the sun it brightens because of rays of the sun are called during the night time the direction of the sun is changes that's why the rays of the sun directly fall on the moon and the moon brightens and it shines reflect on the earth so that's why we see the moon is shining in the sky got it children now each and every planet has the moon now how many moons are there according to their planet that we are going to discuss see here in your textbook it is given a satellite <coughs> is a natural or artificial yes artificial also we have forgot about the artificial okay but we don't have to the scientist nowadays our scientist wanted to study a lot about the space that's why they have uh, <coughs> they have said the artificial satellites are in the in the space to know about the to know about space what is it so let's see what the book is telling something a satellite is a natural or artificial body that orbits moves around a planet the word comes from the latin word that is attendant okay there are many natural satellites okay in the solar systems okay that is called a moon okay we already have explained that okay now you know that our solar system consists of sun and eight planets and 146 moons that orbits their respective planets think about it there are total 146 moons scientists keep discovering new moons still the scientists keep discovering the new moons as of now among the inner planets now here we are going to we are talking about the inner planet only that is mercury venus have no moons listen carefully mercury and venus have no moons inner planet 1 2 3 4 4 till mars inner planet and these from the jupiter are the outer planets okay so first of all we will discuss about the inner planets this first mercury and mars have venus have no moons and the earth has one moon okay got it earth has one moon inner inner planet we are discussing about <clears throat> and the mars has two moons okay so how many moons are there totally till inner planets there are only three because they both do not have any moons our earth has one moon and and <clears throat> mars has two moons so total three moons are here but total what the figure we got 146 so how it could be listen carefully so among the outer planets now we are going to see about the outer planets outer planets <coughs> outer planets are like that outer planet jupiter has 50 moons jupiter the biggest planet jupiter has the 50 moons saturn has 53 moons uranus has 27 and the neptune has 30 what is it okay <clears throat> russian scientists were the first to launch an artificial satellite now we are going to discuss about something little few introduction about the artificial also artificial satellites artificial satellites sputnik 1 on october 4 1957 what's the discovery was of sputnik 1 that is artificial satellite on october 4 1957 and within a month next time within a month again they have launched a sputnik 2 in which they had sent a dog into the space satellites are important for the scientific research yes correct now this everything about the planet 
planets and their winds. Now we are going to learn about the phases of moon. Listen carefully. Phases of as the moon orbits the earth, we see the different amount of moon leaped part, but always see the same side of the moon. We see the different different parts. Moon is changing every day. Okay, different different shapes of the moon. But only we can see the front side of the moon. Sometimes it looks like a circle, sometimes a half circle, and sometimes a thin curved silver. Silver. The different shapes of the moons are called the phase of moon. <clears throat> what is children? Do you understand? Different phases of the moon. The surface of the moon has many deep holes called craters. There are rocky mountains and flat areas also. <clears throat> now, when we look up the sky on the clear night, okay. Now, here the two boys are asking a question to a teacher that they have a confusion in their mind. So they are asking, and the teacher is also replying, when we look up at the sky on the clear night, some stars appear to be a brighter than the other. There are two reasons for this. Why? The closer the star, the brighter it appears. The stars which are closer, it appears brighter. The bigger the star, the big brighter it appears. The bigger star, it appears again brighter than the previous star. Depends upon the size and the distance. Stars vary in size, brightness and the colors. The hotter the star gets its color changes. Okay. Uh, that one activity is given in your textbook that you have to color as for the color they have told you. Okay, that activity, this one is the activity at the top, at the bottom it is given. That activity you have to do you by your own. This activity. Okay, you have to color these stars. The co colors are <coughs> mentioned over. Okay. Now after this, constellation. Constellation. So what is constellation? Now listen carefully, the word constellation is very important. Listen carefully. When you see at night in the sky, you see the stars. Yes? But have you thought about the stars are in some taking some shapes? No. So start thinking right now because to, from today you are going to learn about the constellations. From today only itself you go at night and see, see the your teacher has taught you the constellation, just go and check it and try to make the shapes according to that. Constellation. In your textbook, a constellation is a group of a star. It's a group of a star that seems to form a pattern or shape in a sky. Okay. So what type of pattern you see that you and that you join, you will see the shapes and the different different patterns in the sky when you join the stars in the sky. What you see. Okay. So ancient people, ancient people had named these constellations after animals and mythological characters. There are 88 known constellations in the sky. 88 known constellations. Ancient people were, <clears throat> were thinking, were uh, uh, deciding the directions according to the stars constellations. Yes, in your in your textbook, in your textbook, you see these are the shapes. Take a close appearance of it. You see these shapes are given in your textbook. Yes, these are the shapes that you can see in the sky. Make the shape, match the shapes and see them. So every day the different constellation you will find in the sky. So this is the topic of about the constellation I had explained to you. Few names also they had given. Ancient people, the big keeper, origin the hunter, Cygnus, the great bear, Hercules, Leo. This type of names they were given to that shapes which they had made. Okay, so this topic is over, student. Thank you.